Hey guys, so today is um, Monday. <laughs> I had to think about that. Monday, July 15th, and it's 2024. Um, I actually have not gotten outside today, and I think it's after 6 p.m. It's crazy. Um, I actually did stay up very late last night um, working on a project, and then I slept in a little bit slept in so it was like I think it was 8 30 or 9 something like that when I got up and um I oh my gosh what what is that thing okay you have to see this it's crazy okay I gotta turn this camera around Okay, what, that almost looks like a bumblebee. Oh, no, I can't find it. Where'd he go? He was huge. I tried to find him. Um, so I got a very quick glimpse of him, and I will clip it into the video. But I was standing here, and that flower tree bush thing um, was behind me. And all of a sudden, he like flew by and then landed on the ground and I could see him. And he was like, I don't know, he was probably the length of my pinky. There we go. Um, and it was thick. It was big. I'm telling you, the bugs here in Texas, I hear they're harmless for the most part. But dude, they scare the bejesus out of me. These things are just huge, they're big, and as you've probably heard people say, everything in Texas is huge. Everything in Texas is big. Well, that includes spiders, bugs, um, pests, like all that stuff. So I just have to get used to it, I guess. I'm just not used to it <laughs> in my body as well. Like the bites, um, that I've had to deal with in my body. Um, oh, why? I may have seen, found him. No, it's not him. It was a leaf on the ground. But um, anyways, I really don't have much to update you with today. Um, our lot next to us got mowed. There we go. <laughs> but beyond that, I really don't have much. Um, I am working on a project which will hopefully end soon. Um, we have some friends that are coming to visit us from Colorado um, pretty soon, um, later, I mean within the next month, which I'm looking forward to. Um, but honestly, beyond that, I really don't have much to say. I do know that I need to clean our house. Um, not that it's like dirty as in dirt wise, because someone actually did come and clean our house before our friends came from Colorado but I need to do the dishes which I haven't done since we lost power so I have um, a whole dishwasher full of dishes that I need to put away and then I also need to run another load um, I haven't cooked since we got home on Friday I've been kind of doing leftovers throwing stuff in the air fryer which by the way Warren if you are watching this um, you guys need an air fryer or Brian or Clara or um, your stepmom Jenna um, you guys need an air fryer those are the best inventions since sliced bread I'm telling you they are freaking awesome um, you could get one of the air fryers that look like a toaster oven, um, and that works just as good. Or you can get, like, one of the tabletop air fryers. The best priced ones that I have found is at Costco, getting them through Costco. But the air fryers fry the food. So, so like, you can put a basket of french fries or chicken. Like, Warren, you breaded your chicken. Um, you could do that. And instead of putting in oil and fat, you can put it in the air fryer 
and it fries it just like it would if you were to put it into like oil and fat like it's unbelievable it's crazy but it's the best thing and it is to me in my opinion it's completely a necessity for a family with kids we do it and it's just my husband and i right now until you guys come home um but it's a necessity your grandma Saderno, she does it and it's just her she she air fries and air cooks her food she has the air fryer here i'll go into the kitchen um she has the air fryer that's just like ours. That's why we got it because it was, we had used it at Grandma Soderno's and, and it's such a great deal. Um, it's well worth it, I promise you. So let me show you. So it's this. It's the Ninja. So we also use this air fryer, which is also the ninja and it allows you to air fry sausage burgers we do steaks on it in fact we prefer doing the steaks on it it's got a grill option it's got an air crisp which is um which is for air frying like i was telling you warren if you're watching this that's how you could have cooked your chicken when you did all those meals you could put them in this right now we have the steak whatever you call it, what do you call that? The steak grill thing that you put in there. Yeah. But there's also the basket. So you could put a bunch of those chicken pieces. Um, all, I usually will buy the, the, the breaded already. So here you can see how our kitchen is. Total full, or our dishwasher is completely full and I need to clean that up. I have laundry over there because we, um, they used, our friends used three bedrooms, so I had to wash the bedding of all three bedrooms, and then of course the towels and everything for two days. But you know what, I'm so grateful that they came, even if it was only a couple days, because I love to visit with people. You guys know how extroverted I am, and I love being around people. So I think I'm gonna end it here. Um, we're gonna head out to dinner right now, because <laughs> again, I haven't cooked anything and I really need to clean and organize the kitchen and figure out food wise what we have because we had to throw away so much stuff. Let me show you our um, freezer. This is one of our freezers. So we saved the pizzas because that was already kind of cooked food. We have some fried um, mozzarella sticks up there and some meatballs which again those were already cooked um, I was able to save the whipped cream I think I don't know I haven't opened it yet um, but that shelf is completely empty I don't know if you can see that um, so that shelf was completely empty <clears throat> I was able to save the egg rolls because technically they are um, they're already cooked the chicken wings, um, there were just a few of them in there. Those, I'm still kind of, I'm not sure if those are okay or not. I had some frozen taco soup that I had pre-made. I think I had done a video on that, of pre-making that taco soup. But because the taco soup was already cooked, I feel fine about it, even if it was slightly defrosted. I'm looking for my purse so we can go, but, um, I just want you guys to know I love you. Look at that. I love you guys. I miss you so much, so much. I wish you guys were coming with us. We're gonna go get some Chinese food. Um, I'm gonna pray over you. Father God, I just thank you so much for all three of my kids, Lord. I am blessed that I am a mother to three kids. Wyatt, Warren, and Clara. Lord, I just pray a special blessing and a supernatural hedge of protection filled with the empowerment of your grace, your mercy, and your unconditional, unending love that you have for each of them. Father, I thank you um, for what you're doing in our lives despite the circumstances, but thank you for reminding us who you are and you will not change and your promises that are in the Word of God will not change. 
We thank you, Father. Lord, I continue to pray. May your will be done in this situation here on earth as it is in heaven. Lord, I ask, as I do every time, please reunite me with all three of my kids soon. In your heavenly name, amen. And Lord, I ask that you supernaturally appear to those involved. Lord, extending your mercy, your grace towards them in this situation. In your heavenly name, amen. I love you guys. I miss you. And I will see you guys on tomorrow's video. Bye.